Howdy humans, welcome back to my channel. It's Micah at Coffee and Chaos. Uh, today we're gonna do this week's plan with me. This is our last week in our rainbow theme for January. I'm gonna be sad to see this one go, y'all. But I'm excited about what's coming up for next month. I've got it covered, cause you know, spoilers. Um, <clears throat> but I'm actually gonna film that later today, the February setup, but for right now, let's get into it. So we're going to start out flipping through last week. Um, we went with this layout, which I really, I ended up not loving this layout this week. It's beautiful. I love the colors. It's mostly functional for me, but I did find that not having a dedicated like task space really didn't work for me. I ended up kind of forgetting different things that, <clears throat> sorry, that I need, you know, that I was wanting to work on this week and that sort of thing. So, um, that kind of didn't work for me, but it is, it's beautiful. So we had Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, all my notes here, y'all, ah, Thursday, Friday, today's Saturday. I haven't colored this in yet. Let's do that real quick. Um, so this didn't end up being quite what I wanted. And I may kind of try and rework this for a February layout. Because I did, I did like kind of having just the freedom to just write as much as I wanted each day, you know, cause like this day I didn't write hardly anything. And then some of these other days I wrote a little more. So I did kind of like having that freedom, but um, like I said, not having a master task space to see didn't work for me. Although <laughs> brain's working here, y'all. Maybe I could do like a Dutch door situation next time. Um, just to kind of make that work. Anyways, moving on. So I'm filming this on Saturday. So I've left myself, you know, some room because I'm, you know, I've got a lot going on today. I've got a lot of stuff that I'm doing here at home. So I wanted to leave myself space to journal and then Sunday and then I'll do my weekly review um, here as well. Um, so this week, I'll go ahead and tell you guys for my weekly review. Um, I accidentally achieved one of my goals this week, or at least um, got myself very far on the path to achieving one of my goals this week, which is great. So by next week's reflection, I will hopefully have that 100% completed and we'll be able to tell you guys all about it. So I'm excited. I did not have any overtime for work this week. Um, we It was a holiday. So I think I worked actually like 35 hours and then holiday on top of that. So, you know. Um, my wins this week, honestly, I don't, this week has been really, really honestly bad. Um, I just, I'm honest with y'all, you know, like it is what it is. Life's what it is. So, but let's try and find some positives in this absolute dumpster fire of a week. Um, I kept up with my Bujo. I did let some of my habits fall by the wayside a little bit this week. As you can see, um, this week's dots are greens for done gray, you know, as always kind of denotes that I, I didn't do anything with those this week. Um, and as you can see, there are some things that I just didn't quite get to this week. Um, but a win I kept up on my meds. That's usually one of the first things that falls to the wayside when things get stressful is I, I forget to take my meds. I, I did that. So that's great. Um, and I didn't let my, I didn't let everything completely fall apart. So that's, you know what? There's some wins. Let's, let's go with that. Challenges. I'm not going to go into uh, personal stuff. Planning. We already talked about what did and didn't work for me this week, right? So let's go ahead. I decided that my previous setup that I had done like this really like I just I'm loving it I'm really loving this setup I'm 
you know, with the foldable, you know, kind of faux Dutch, Dutch door thing here. I really like that. So I decided I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with what works. I'm going to change up decoration a little bit, of course, but we're going to stay consistent with this layout for this, for this, because I just love it. So I've already got a sketched. I've got all my handy dandy pins over here. Um, so let's go ahead and just get right in. So this pin that I'm using is the Faber Castell Pit Artist pin. I like these. I picked these up, honestly, a few years ago. This is the F tip, which is, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of a thicker tip. I like those for making, you know, my outlines, the, you know, it's just a little more noticeable and all that jazz. So here we go, getting our, getting our January in here. Um, we, uh, And as always, you know, I'll put everything I use, I'll link it down below in case there's something specific that you really like that I've used that you absolutely need to have for yourself. Um, Cause you know, that's how it works. I know I see, I see things in YouTube videos and I'm like, must have right now. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that. Um, this week, I decided what I'm going to do for, like, my headers um, is I'm just going to use the rainbows from this washi tape that I've been using all month um, for this. And I'm changing up my little dividers. I already have them sketched. Um, I, yeah, we'll use this one. It's fine. So we're going to do this. These it just like kind of echoes little raindrops here and then coming down to divide the page in half. It's very simple, except, okay, it's not simple to draw the straight line because maybe I should have used the ruler there. Hmm. The things that you should do. Let's do it this time. This ruler is my little, I've talked about it before, I think. Um, I got this in the Walmart like back to school section years ago and I think I literally paid a dollar for it but it's perfect I love it it's got centimeters and inches and the metal edge I use for ripping washi or um like in my reading journal for my book bingo um as I finish a book I'm using just a little oh that was not dry um just a, a little post-it note and I'm just tearing it down to size so that then I can still kind of flip it up and see which prompt that book was for. Um, see, as you can see, I've finished two books so far. Yay. Uh, not the point. Okay. So we're going to draw these boys in. I don't know why. I, I really like kind of the loose unstructured, it, it, it's structured but loosely structured of these kind of little blobs here. These I use for meal planning. My daughter and I actually had a discussion this week about like, girl, we have got to do better at this because we are eating out entirely too much. And, you know, part of that comes with like busyness, like when we're busy. Um, and there's a lot of things going on, you know, I'm sure all you other folks understand, like when it's busy, it just becomes so much easier to just run through a drive through but it's not good for the wallet and it is not good for the waistline. So you can see what I'm doing here. See, I, I just use this little ruler to kind of tear that. Oh, I should have torn it. Eh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. I don't, I don't really, I don't really care a whole lot. And I decided I'm going to use these little guys. Oh, let me see if I can like as my little, as my little task headers. Oh, shit. let's, let's, where'd my pencil go? Let's erase that line. I need to 
kind of go ahead and erase this sketching while we're at it. Maybe. Can't even erase correctly today. So we'll just go ahead and put this guy over here. Okay, and then move this little dude off. I don't know why I think that everything is nailed today. Let's just roll with it, okay? We just we just won't talk about it. Um, we're gonna do our little tasks here. I need to come up with like a cuter name for this instead of just like tasks. Like, you know, a lot of times I get kind of snarky with myself and I'll do, you know, and I'll do titles like um, Just Do It or um, Could You Please Adult, um, different things like that. But I do realize that it's not everyone's cup of tea. So I'm a I'm I'm real I'm a pretty sarcastic person and that shows. Okay. So I pulled out this like fine line like fine sharpie to write the dates on here because I don't think that anything else will work. So let's just go with the 23rd, 24th, 25th. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anything else will kind of, everything else would smear right off of there. So we go Monday. One day I will get better. My handwriting will get better. And this will be so much cuter. Um, today's not that day. Hand lettering is something I always really struggle with actually um, doing. Um, the practice and stuff for it. That is one thing that has really fallen by the way wayside this week. I don't think I have done art practice <sighs> maybe once uh, this week. Like, it's just, I have not been feeling it at all. Um, so I did, I did grab some Tombos this last week. I had a voucher at Michael's, um, that I needed to spend. So let's see how this one looks. Oh, it's a little bit lighter blue than I had been using, but I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, so I did pick up some Tombos and... I do really want to try and learn some brush lettering. They actually, I think, I don't know what I expected with these. I expected the tip to be much more pliable and loose than it actually is. It actually does have a bit of a firmness to it. So I think that my mind is grasping the whole like brush lettering situation a little better now than it was because these other brush tip pens that I have that are, I don't even know where I got them, whether it was like a Dollar Tree or Walmart or something like that. Um, their tip is like, it's really almost like a softer paintbrush. And so that's what I expected with the Tombos and these are not that way. And I know you can't see it on the video, the way it feels in your hand, but it's just, it's just very different than what I was expecting. And I don't know why I just had like this two minute ramble about Tombos and how they feel in your hand, but you know what, let's just, Let's just go with it. So we've had this week, my, uh, my younger cat, I have two cats. One of them, his name is Rumble. He's a big orange boy and he is my absolute baby forever. And he's like five or six. And then we have a kitten who is almost a year old. His name is Sploot and he got fixed last week. 
and when he came home from the vet, any of you other pet owners are well aware of these kinds of things. But he was so funny when he came home. He just wanted he just wanted loves, but he was still drugged up and it just wasn't working for him. He'd just have to floop over. So here I go trying to draw this line again. So yeah, I wanted to sw switch up my dividers from what I had done previously, which I really like those dividers, but I just wanted to get a little more arty, I guess. Um, I'm gonna move this guy. This is for my for my February spread that's right there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I just, I wanted to do that. And I went back as I was sketching out this spread and kind of thinking about it, I was like, you know, what was it that kind of didn't work for me on this spread initially because I wanted to make sure and kind of correct that, right? And I remembered that it was that that very first week, I only gave myself a little tiny space for Saturday and Sunday and no journaling space at all. And a lot of times on weekends, I that's when I do kind of fun stuff. You know, I go to karaoke with my best friend every Saturday night usually. And there's always things, there's always stories, you know. Um, and I want to tell them. So I changed that the next week and gave myself full days. And then my weekly reflection is there. That was a little too much. So what I'm going to do is give myself more space here, you know, a little more space for tasks, but then I'm going to split, I didn't draw that out, so pardon the floofy looking little rain, rain dots here, um, and I'm going to have my weekly reflection here, and then journaling space here, just for the entire weekend, and I'm going to see how that works out, okay, um, because I think I might like that because I can always just kind of journal the weekend um, and kind of see how that see how that goes a little bit here. You know, that's one thing I really, really love about bullet journaling is, you know, every week or every month or even every day, if you're a daily spread person, um, like you can change up what you're doing and make it work better for you. And you can experiment with different things and be like, oh yeah, that's great. Or mm, no, that's not for me. Um, and it always kind of, you know, you can just keep trying. So this guy, I'm gonna put down here for my header there. Cause I figure that way I'm not wasting the clouds. I, I mean, obviously I've got a ton of this washi and throwing a couple pieces away is not going to be the end of the world, but you know, waste not want not or whatever. So we're just going to do that. This one, see, it took me a minute, but I finally realized how I could do this without like contorting myself. Do I want, no, I kind of really don't. Okay, so this guy, I'm just gonna stick right here and then I'm gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste a couple of, couple of clouds after I literally just talked about waste, not whatnot. However, I actually know what I think I'm probably going to do with those. Now, and at the end of January, it's actually like probably more of a monthly reflection, but I don't know if I really want to like do that. So I did not leave myself any like extra spread space or anything between that and February. Um, I think these dudes, I'm just going to come. I'm just going to put them over here. They can, they can be happy little clouds over there. All right. So dates. I can't, 
remember, 25th. And then the 30th and 31st will go in on that first week of February. Um, I just, I didn't see any point in trying to figure something else out. So we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. And then this is going to be, I'm actually, I don't think I'm even going to put a header there. It'll just be like a blank space. And then this is going to be weekly reflection. Okay. So there's that. Now, what pen is that? Oh, that's the O2. I also got some of these Tombow mono drawing pens this week um, and I've been using them. I'm working on my one of my best friends, her five year journal, getting it set up for her. And I've been using these for that. And I really like them. I don't know if I like them more than the Microns or the Faber Castells. Um, or even I bought my daughter because my daughter's also been bullet journaling. Um, some of the artist loft from Michael's version of this and I haven't used them. I I ought to oh, I always think she has them with her. I need to steal one this week and um or I shouldn't say steal it. I should borrow it from her and kind of see what I think. Um because you know if you can save a couple pennies, save a couple pennies. All right, so let's see what's going on this week. This is the week of the 23rd. So Wednesday, my kids are going to be with their dad. So I don't need to plan dinner. Thursday, my dad comes for dinner on Thursday nights. So, and I have been, this last few weeks have been absolutely insane. So he hasn't been here. Um, but my daughter really wants potato soup and so does my son. And my dad loves it. So I'm going to make my... Uh, potato soup on Thursday. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the week. Uh, we will, we'll figure it out when my kids get home. Okay. So on Monday, this is obviously my monthly spread. So on Monday, my daughter has a doctor's appointment. I'll just use my green here. Okay, and then Tuesday, I've got to pay the bills. You know, I don't know why I do this to myself. Get your, they put these bookmarks in here for a reason. Um, Saturday is Netflix. which I'm fairly certain the price just went up again. I think I'm paying like $20 a month now, which is horrible. Um, and then HBO, I know just went up because I just got the email. And I think, come on, wake up. It is now $15.99. Which is fine. Okay. Friday. I need this. Sorry. Pardon my arms, guys. Um, I have my little, my little payday stickers. Let's use this orange one here. And then I'll fill in the amount once I actually get paid. Um, Okay, so there's that. Um, let me find this. So we have appointment, appointment, appointment. Friday, my kids go with their dad. Saturday, 
Saturday is karaoke night, so I do not plan dinner on karaoke night. Um, I feel like I want a fun sticker for karaoke because it makes me happy. Those are Halloween. -y. You know what? We're going to use this one. Suspish AF. Because there are definitely some characters. These, this is a little sampler I got in an order from another shop. This is BEPDshop.com. Um, and there's a little um, code there. I'll um, link this in the description. I'll, I'll put that right there so I don't forget. Um, her stickers are really cute. I used one last week as well that says nothing screws up your friday like realizing it's only tuesday so she has really cute stickers um okay so that's that i completely forgot to do my lines here as i do so we're just gonna pretend that i did not forget deal deal i love it when y'all agree with me <laughs> So next week seems to be knock on wood. Pretty chill. We don't have a lot going on in the evenings, which is great. I think we could, we could all use some, what was that? Hmm. I don't know if you can see that, but there was like a little drag mark there. Hmm. Weird. Anyways, um, I think we could all use a chill week and, uh, We'll see. I want to see if my friend Bree, who is another bullet journaler, uh, we haven't been able to get together in the last couple weeks. Our schedules just haven't meshed. And so I think I'm going to see if she wants to come over. I think she's off work on Monday or Tuesday. So I'm going to see if she wants to come over and, um, and Bujo one night. Just because and even if she doesn't want to be here just see if she wants to hang out and then today um my bestie alan is coming over and we're gonna dye our hair before we go to karaoke tonight because i haven't done mine in ages and it needs it badly i um I've been dyeing my hair since I got divorced. Um, you know, that whole <laughs> mental breakdown thing or whatever. But my normal hair color is a very, very dull, dark brown. Um, when I was younger, I loved my hair, my natural hair color. But as I've gotten older, it's gotten so much darker it's gotten curly. Has anybody else had that? Like you have kids and your hair gets curly. What is that? Um, it's so weird, but, um, and it's not so much to cover up like grays. Cause I don't really care about that. Um, it just, it helps with the, the frizz from the curl because that makes me nutty. Okay. So wow, really empty week so far. So let's look at tasks. Okay. Um, I know I am not going to be finished with Emma's five-year journal, so that is still going to be on here. I think I'm into May, so that's still going to be on here. Um, I need to, um, y'all are going to get a little bit of a spoiler here. Um, I need to figure out... Etsy rework. So a hundred years ago, it feels like I had an Etsy shop for about 10 years designing and manufacturing children's clothing. I loved it. Life happened. I had to shut my business down and now I just don't have the ability to sustain that sort of business anymore. 
So one of my goals for this year was to develop some more passive income streams. Um, I'm a single mother. That's not going to change anytime soon. Um, and I'd like to have a little, I'd like to have a few more options than just my weekly paycheck for income coming in just for safety net reasons. Um, so I need to rework my Etsy shop away from the children's clothing angle and do it like a rebranding. Um, so part of that is a name change because I think I'm going to go ahead and change it over to coffee and chaos. Um, I need to look at keywords, descriptions. and the welcome, and then graphics. And the categories obviously are going to change. So um, I've decided that I um, am going to reformat some of the files I've designed for my bullet journal, for my reading journal, primarily at this point. Um, and I'm going to list them as PDFs and as cut files if you have a silhouette or a, cr or a cricket, um, if you want to use them to make stickers. So there you go. That's what's coming. That was my accidental goal achievement this week. So I do need to work on that. Um, and I need to fix those files. so that the cut settings and all of those things are right. Okay. Um, okay, so that's all from right there. Um, also on Monday, if I do not call Verizon about my son's watch, someone like flay me or something because I have had this on my to-do list since December y'all it's just he doesn't need service to it anymore and so I'm paying for the service that he doesn't even need and I'm costing myself money this is this is ridiculous but phone calls are very very hard for me okay so there is that so the next thing that we want to look at is our this is my yearly collections journal that has all of my stuff in it. Um, I paid my insurance last week, so let's mark that off. Um, my future log I don't use, so my 101 things. Okay, so let's see what we accomplished this week. Um, so we kind of half found the, pa the one passive income stream. So it's in progress. Hopefully by the end of next week that we can check that all the way off. Um, let's see. Um, design and release a digital product. That actually is, I guess maybe I shouldn't have made those two separate ones since they kind of end up being one Thing. but I'm hoping to find even more passive income streams this year. So um, that's in progress. Again, hopefully next week we will be able to cross that off all the way. Um, da -da -da -da. Figure out Discord. I might be able to uh, cross that off later today because... Um, Joshi Corin is having a discord hangout later this afternoon that I plan on attending. And, uh, I think I'm gonna have to figure out discord for that. So we'll see. I really need to make a case for my current month pens. Um, cause it really annoys me not having that. So let's make that maybe kind of a crafty goal for this week. That is, you know, a benefit I have is that I can sew those myself instead of buying it. And I have a billion yards of fabric still. So I've been working on clearing out my Goodreads want to read, but it is nowhere near finished. 
um, wait, did I already, yeah, oh, see, so I already, um, X out the ones that I finished last week, which is I created my password log and Sploot got fixed. So that was knocking two off this past week. Oh, and we also got our library cards. So that was actually really good. So I don't need to like super stress myself. We're making good progress. So there's that. And then my 23 and 23s, we actually finished Law and Order SVU season five this week. I, there's a lot of TV in this house. Just don't judge me, okay? Just don't judge me. Um, let me see. We didn't try any recipes. I still haven't done. I think I'm going to do a hair mask today. I think I'm going to do a hair mask today. I need to get a good face mask. If anyone has a recommendation for um, very dry over 40 skin leave it in the comments um price does you know i'm not really worried about price so if it's something a little more expensive or if it's something really cheap that's really good let me know um bathtub soak is not gonna happen this week maybe next week it will still haven't tried yoga i'm terrified of that youtube videos i posted a video last week of my reading journal and then i'll obviously post this one Activity for National Blank Day. We still haven't managed to complete any of those. Let's see. What are the fun days for next week? Let me pull up this calendar. Um, okay. So we're looking at January yet. And this is the week of the 23rd national handwriting day is the 23rd Ooh, national pie day is monday we like pie mm, peanut butter day is the 24th um my daughter has a severe nut allergy so nothing there global belly laugh day oh that would be a, something fun to do but i don't know Library Shelfie Day is the fourth Wednesday in January. That might be interesting. National Green Juice Day. Holocaust Remembrance Day is on the 27th. And it's also National Chocolate Cake Day. That's, huh. You know what, I think what we'll do is on the 27th, that's Friday, so maybe we will, oh, that's Friday. This is national, I'm going to use my little, where did, I, I, I would lose my mind if it wasn't in my brain, y'all. Um. That's not what I meant to write there, but okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll do maybe a Holocaust Remembrance activity as well as something with cake. Okay, so there's that. Um, I did not take all my meds this past week, so, you know. One of my things on here is podcast episodes. What podcast do y'all listen to? I'm not really into true crime, which I know a lot of people are. It's just not really my thing. Um, but other than that, like, what kind of podcast do you listen to? If you have recommendations, leave them below because I would love to find some good ones. Okay, so there's that. And I think that's kind of... Wow, that's kind of it for this week, y'all. This week is light. Maybe that means that I'll be able to get a lot of things done that don't require me leaving the house, like, you know, the Etsy and my friend's journal and, and things like that. Um, and I also want to work on my long-term collections journal. So 
All right. It looks super bland now, but it's gonna it's gonna look great by the end of the week. I will have it lots of color and stuff. So here we go. That's this week's layout. And thank you so much for watching today and staying with me. Um, next video will be my February monthly setup. And I will see you then. Bye, y'all.